Hello and uh, good evening friends. I'm Dr. Mukmohit and uh, I welcome you all to this short tuberculosis 2018 update. So there's a new TB report by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare and I just took this opportunity to maybe discuss with you the new tuberculosis report 2018. So bringing to you the first point which is required for your MCQ exams, the change in the targets of this RNTCP new report. So under this we are planning to like the government is planning to end TB. So end tuberculosis by 2025. What do I mean by end tuberculosis? Point two, we want to eliminate tuberculosis by 2025. MCQ number 3, 2025, sorry. MCQ number 3, what do we mean by elimination tuberculosis? Eliminate tuberculosis means whatever incidence we have. Incidence has to be brought down to, reduced to greater than 80-80%. The deaths due to TB, mortality, due to tuberculosis to be reduced to to more than 90-90% baseline from which like you want to reduce the incidence to more than 80% mortality to be reduced to more than 90% starting from 2015 data so whatever data we have in 2015 we want to have 80% reduction in incidence 90% reduction in uh, in the mortality. Please remember 80% in uh, incidence and 90% in mortality starting from year 2015. So I can also show you the data from 2015 and what do we expect in 2025. In 2015 we had approximately 215 cases. In 2015 it's easy to remember you can have 215 cases and we want to reduce it to less than 45 cases by year 2025 that's a roughly around 80% reduction more than 80% reduction and for mortality due to tuberculosis earlier in 2015 there were 32 cases uh, of mortality this 215 is per lakh 215 per lakh population and the deaths due to TB were for per 32 deaths per lakh population and we wanted to reduce it to 3 to 4 deaths per lakh population so everything is per lakh population so that's our new updated targets of course we have the case detection and the cure rate the cure rate and the case detection to be reduced to be having more than more than 90 percent that stands as it is but uh, there is a national strategic plan this national strategic plan is to reduce incidence national strategic plan is to reduce incidence of TB by 80% and deaths due to tuberculosis by 90%. So that's the updated targets and uh, how do we do it? Like how do we do it? How do we do it or the strategy for the program? So just listing out the strategy without going into detail. The first thing uh, is that many of you would be glad to know that uh, many of you had been answering in the classes as well that we used to think that we have active case detection and that has actually started now so we are doing uh, active case detection for tuberculosis so many states have actually started this exercise of going to the community to find out the cases of tuberculosis the second strategy is strengthening of strengthening of drug resistant TB case management so it is programmatic management of drug resistant tuberculosis drug resistant tb case management has to be strengthened and just a quick hint over here that uh, the rntcp is probably coming up with a shorter mdr regime shorter mdr regime for tuberculosis so shorter mdr regime is a eight weeks regime which is for drug resistant tuberculosis that is for multi drug resistant tb so third uh, strategy is involvement of the private sector 
involvement of the private sector which already was existent in the country private private sector which already was existent in the country but it had a lot of loopholes uh, so many private doctors still practicing on treating tuberculosis and still the cases were not being notified so here comes a very important involvement of private sector along with notification of tuberculosis so notification of tuberculosis has to be implemented and that has been implemented with uh, some uh, legal riders as well for uh, TB notification along with that we also have started with incentives incentives for tuberculosis notification so if a notification so if a medical doctor if a health practitioner notifies to the government of India regarding TB diagnosis or TB treatment or management the, they are given a, a small uh, incentive for the sum amount of assured of 1000 rupees and uh, that goes as uh, like uh, that goes as uh, 500 initially they give at the time of notification and 500 is remaining but anyways without going into details so we, the government RNDCP has started with the TB notification involvement of private sector strengthening of drug resistant tuberculosis and active case detection fourth important point is starting of digital TB and uh, starting of digital treatment support system so in this uh, couple of things which you already know that is uh, that uh, even the compliance system even the compliance system compliance system from the patient side has to be strengthened and that uses uh, IT technology which most of us know that is using a Nixie software Nixie software and also using something known as 99 dot strategy so 99 dot strategy you can visit the website 99 dots dot org and you can see the details it's how the government of India is implementing this 99 dots and uh, use of compliance system and uh, second is so one is compliance system and the second important thing that for digitalization of TB is DBT that is direct benefit transfer strategy so in this uh, basically the patients at the har card the patients bank account the um, uh, notifying doctors bank account everything is linked on and uh, probably it's like direct benefit given to the patients so that's it for the strategy and uh, we come up to the next part of uh, that uh, there has been nothing big uh, big change in the laboratory network that at the top we have something known as NRL so these are if you can see them these are NRLs national reference laboratories so these are like six national reference laboratories which are located at Chennai Bangalore Delhi Agra Bhopal and Bhubaneswar so these are like six NRLs which are the national reference laboratories below them you have uh, intermediate reference laboratory below which we have the district TB center district TB center below which we have the tuberculosis unit and below which we have the DMC please remember MCQ which has been asked DMC is not district microscopy center it is designated designated microscopy center so you have designated microscopy center TU is tuberculosis unit tuberculosis unit so I'll just rub off these state names if you have noted Chennai, Bangalore, Delhi, Agra, Bhopal and Bhubaneswar so I'll just rub these uh, dates off uh, these sorry cities off and uh, DTC is like uh, district TB center or district TB cell district it's a district level TB cell then you have intermediate not in intermediate yeah intermediate reference laboratories and then we have the national reference laboratories please remember that these IRLs or intermediate reference laboratories these are usually at state levels so at the national you have one then uh, intermediate at the state then the district then tuberculosis unit and designated microscopy center so point one uh, why I 
took up this point was that uh, I wanted to inform you that the tuberculosis unit which initially was targeting 5 lakh population has been roughly changed to 1.5 to 2.5 lakh so what you can remember for your exams easily is uh, 2 lakh population so DMC stays as 1 lakh population for every 1 lakh population or uh, 1.5 in hilly area so anyways uh, in plain areas it's like 1 lakh population we have a designated microscopy center 2 lakh population tuberculosis unit district is district so in between the district and the TU we usually have the CBNAT machines which is like cartridge based nucleic acid amplification test CBNAT machines that is cartridge based cartridge based nucleic acid amplification test so cartridge based nucleic acid amplification test and that's how these uh, districts are providing so there are a couple of new things which are there uh, under this uh, program one is that uh, CVNAT is now mandatory for all tuberculosis patient so one is that uh, CVNAT is mandatory for uh, all the TB patients so for all TB diagnosis CBNAT would be done because it tells us about the rifampicin resistance or the rifampicin status of the patient. Then at the district level uh, and at the IRL levels, at the IRL levels, uh, the government is coming up with a new strategy that is genomic sequencing facilities. So for all the genomic sequence facilities, the government is coming up with this like establishment of six reference laboratories. There will be six reference laboratories which will be set up for genomic sequencing and uh, out of these six reference laboratories i think two are in delhi one is in bangalore mumbai bangalore two in delhi bangalore mumbai and ahmedabad mumbai bangalore ahmedabad and two are in delhi so uh, that's how like uh, these sites are currently currently working there's another site which is coming up like uh, Guwahati which is coming up which is coming up for these genomic sequencing facilities with the pyro sequencers and uh, basically there are other strategies which are being followed for uh, being followed for all these like uh, cases is uh, like uh, I can uh, take up another page probably and uh, then tell you all the other newer strategies under this uh, system the new strategies under this system would be like uh, first is scaling up of bedaculine scale up of Bedaculine. Earlier, Bedaculine was a reserved drug. So now, Bedaculine would be like a more Bedaculine will be purchased and it will be into the system. Second is that's an important MCQ which can be formed. There is a conditional. The RNTCP has conditionally, conditional approval for a drug known as Delaminid. So Delaminid has been given a conditional go ahead. A green signal that it will be launched under the RNTCP program and third is there's something known as true NAT true NAT is like uh, it's a small component of NAT actually if you uh, obviously you you might have worked in CB NAT or you might not have uh, if you have worked in CB NAT uh, centers basically CB NAT it's a small machine which works with electricity so this also uses like a NAT uh, based nucleic acid amplification test but it's like a a shorter form of CBNAT and it does not use it does not require does not require a 24 hour electricity source so it's like a small machine which does not require electricity and by virtue of CBNAT uh, by virtue of true NAT we can actually penetrate more into tuberculosis uh, the point is that RNTCP has declared that uh, uh, nobody is going to replace CBNAT true NAT is not going to replace CBNAT it's just that with the with the true NAT people will be going into more into tuberculosis 
and uh, it is going to be done at a very primary level rather than what we are going to do today at a tertiary level so basically gene expert as you already know gene expert or the cbnat machine gene expert which we already know it requires larger volumes and it also larger volumes and it also requires electricity which are like uh, not uh, required in a true nut so true nut is something like a smaller version of gene uh, expert which can be done at a very primary level so it's not uh, don't consider it as a replacement of gene expert it's just that uh, true nut is something like complementary to the gene expert and uh, then we have another important point that i wanted to discuss was sat technique so what is this sat technique is saksham against tb that is sat sat strategy so sat strategy is uh, following up of uh, drug resistant and tuberculosis patient it could be mdr or xdr patients and uh, basically this is integration integration of care management and niksha so it's a it's a kind of a sat that is saksham against tb so that's a a public private partnership system for drug resistance tb that's a new thing so that's it from my side uh, my email id you already must be having but uh, you are most welcome to call us or uh, whatsapp us on 8699014009 for any updates that you require and uh, my facebook id is m u k h m o h i t so please find this on the facebook page and please uh, subscribe to the page you can also subscribe to our uh, uh, facebook group that is m u k h m o h i t mukmohit's community and medicine discussions so you most welcome to subscribe to this group and uh, i'll be waiting for your comments for this video anything else just let us know happy reading happy studying all the best thank you so much